Hello guys, Dan here from Dance Tech, and in today's video guys, we're going to be having a look at the Noctua NHU9S. And I have it here, it's a very, very small cooler. Noctua do make some very high-end and very large, high-performing coolers. So yeah, this is a little cooler from them. Um, very, very small fan in terms of height. Very, very small again. Uh, a lot smaller than, say, even the Hyper 212 Evo. It does feature five copper heat pipes, all of which, you know, have been nickel plated to kind of give it a kind of bad luck. Copper is orange and get. Yeah, not too good as it copper but um yeah without further ado we're gonna get into this review if you guys have ever built say mini ITX pcs or say home theater pcs it's very very high to hard to find a high performing uh, kind of low profile cooler even though that even though this isn't the smallest thing in the world it will fit in many mini ITX pcs and therefore will be well a perfect candidate um as with many of Noctua's products they have been very very quiet and i think even though this fan is small i'm thinking it's going to be pretty damn uh, quiet, yes, there we are. Anyhow, let's kind of jump into review, and yeah, let's check out the NHU9S from Noctua. To get started, as always, inside the box, on top we find a thin box containing all the needed mounting hardware for both AMD and Intel platforms. Noctua's Secifirm 2 mounting hardware features very solid metal pieces. This makes installing their coolers a breeze, as well as securing their coolers down on the motherboard incredibly well. Inside the box also we find a syringe of Noctua's own thermal compound, the Gen CH1, a 4-pin low noise adapter, a metal Noctua case badge, two metal clips for an additional fan, and a solid long metal screwdriver. In addition to all these accessories you do also get the NHU9S aluminium cooler inside the main box, with a single NFA9 92mm fan already attached to the unit. Noctua have also sent me a retail version of this fan to see how much extra performance we can squeeze out of the cooler in a dual fan setup. The cooler is packaged exceptionally well, adding a sense of quality to the entire package. Onto the cooler itself, the cooler's design is a short but wide single tower cooler. The total dimensions of the unit with the fan attached are 125mm in height, with the width and depth both being 95mm. The total weight of the cooler with one fan attached is a relatively light 618 grams. The aluminium tower features many aluminium fins with five copper heat pipes passing through the fin stack. The base is offset to offer 100% compatibility with RAM on Intel boards and 100% compatibility with most AMD boards. As for aesthetics, the cooler's been fully nickel plated and it's nice to see such a nice looking and built cooler in general. Build quality overall is excellent and you can really tell you are getting a premium product. Moving on to the included fan and its specs and design, not sure include one of their own NFA9 fans. Covering the specs first, the dimensions of this fan are 92 by 92 by 25mm standard thickness, featuring a standard square design. This really is a premium fan and Noctua would also sell these separately. Like many of their fans, it incorporates the brown anti-vibration rubber pads, flow acceleration channels on the blades, and a stepped air inlet design for better airflow. The fan is rated to run at a maximum of 2000 RPM and can be slowed to 1550 RPM with the low noise adapter to attached. The minimum rotation speed is rated at 400 RPM. As for acoustics, it's rated at 22.8 or 16.3 decibels maximum with the low noise adapter attached. Moving on to the installation of the NHU9S, overall it is a pleasant one, mainly due to the fact you get a solid metal backplate and a custom screwdriver needed for installation. The installation of course starts with removing your old stock cooler and placing the included backplate under your board through the CPU socket holes. Once you've done this, you'll want to place the plastic spacers onto the bolts of the back plate, then add the mounting bars after deciding which orientation you want the cooler. After you've done this, you can then fix the two mounting bars to the board with the four metal thumb screws with the included screwdriver once loosely screwed them on by hand. Next, you'll want to add a small amount of thermal paste to the CPU. The last step for installation is to grab the included screwdriver and to screw down the two large screws that are fixed to the cooler onto the mounting apparatus you've just set up on your motherboard. Be sure to screw down the screws evenly, not to screw them down really tight. There's no need to break a sweat installing a CPU cooler. As for mounting the fan, this simply clips on to the cooler. Once you've installed the fan, be sure to connect it to a 4-pin header on your motherboard. Finally onto the performance, as this cooler isn't very large, I first tested the cooler with all four cores on the i7-4790K locked at 4GHz with the automatic voltage set. The cooler scored a low 59 degrees, really slapping the Intel stock coolers which wasn't really expected. So we decided to test it at the good old 4.4GHz with the automatic voltage set, just like we do with all the other high performance coolers. This cooler is able to keep the chip at a cool running 73 degrees with the single 92mm fan running at the standard PWM setting. It's quite impressive that a cooler this size can beat out the Hyper 212 Evo by Cooler Master by 3 degrees, and with an additional fan can beat out the massive Be Quiet Diet Rock Pro 3. The other tests we did are also in the graph, as you can see. By adding the low noise adapters, the performance decreases, much expected. Anyhow, let's conclude on the NHU9S, and let me tell you how impressed I am with this cooler in person. 
So guys, that concludes my review of the Noctua NHU9S. In general, a very, very good cooler. And to be honest, with it, with it being very, very small in height and only including a little fan, I am very, very pleased with how it's performed. When you consider um, on the graph that I've shown you, it really does rival some of the larger coolers with larger fans. In general, when you do add the second fan to this cooler, you do get more performance. That might not be shown in the actual temperatures, but is shown in terms of the noise levels. Now, I don't do sound tests when I review coolers. You kind of you got to a word for it, but when you do install the second fan on here, it does make it a little bit quieter, which if you're after that, I would recommend grabbing a second fan. And anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys are thinking of picking up the Noctua NHU9S, links will be in the description as always. And yeah, without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Fix the two mounting bars to the board with the four metal thumb screws with the included foo screwdriver. Yeah, fucking in included foo screwdriver. Yes. Metal thumb screws with the included foo <coughs> screwdriver. Yes. Do the tests we did, and also in the graph, as you can see, bearing the no the the no noise adapters. <laughs>